Now, an introduction to affine ciphers. We're starting with the same scenario where we've got a message we want to encode. We'll start by translating each one of the letters in the alphabet to these numbers 0 through 25, according to this scale. And now the formula that we're going to use for the affine cipher is the cipher text is going to be A times P plus B mod 26, whereas A is some value relatively prime to 26. GCD of A and 26 are 1. And that ensures us that A has an inverse. And in fact, we'll be able to decrypt the message. So we'll be given a formula. We'll be given the A and the B. And we just need to ensure that A is relatively prime to 26, or has GCD of 1. And then the formula for decrypting the message, basically we've solved the congruence for encrypting in terms of P, the plain text, and that's going to be A inverse times C minus B. Again, the GCD of A in 26 has to be 1, or A is not invertible. It has no inverse. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples here. We want to encrypt the following message using the affine transformation C equals 5P plus 10. We start as we did before, look up the code for each one of the letters, and now what we want to do is multiply each one of those values by 5 and add 10 mod 26. So when you multiply by 5 and add 10, to, for 15 you get 85, 11 you get 65, etc. And we want to reduce those mod 26. So remember how you can easily do that on your calculator. You can either subtract 26 until you see some value between 0 and 25, or divide by 26, subtract off the whole number part like we've done in the past, and then multiply back by 26. When you do that, you should get these values, and we look those values up, and we've got the encoded message. Okay, so it's just using this formula, 5 times p plus 10, you've given the formula, and reducing it mod 26. Now decoding the message is a bit more tricky, because we have to first figure out what the inverse of 5 is, mod 26. 6. We're going to look at 1 is congruent to 27, and we're going to add 26 again to get 53, and then 79, and finally 105. We keep doing that until we see a multiple of 5, and here 5 times 21 is 105, so we know that the inverse of 5 is equal to 21 mod 26. So that'll help us decrypt this message. Now we know the inverse of 5 is 21 mod 26. So the formula we need to decrypt this message is going to be p equals 21 times the quantity c minus 10. As before, we look up the character codes for each one of the letters in our encrypted message. And we see those here. And then we're going to plug each one of these values individually into the formula. And notice you're going to end up with some negative values. When I take 5 minus 10, I'm going to get negative 5. I multiply that by 21, I'm going to get negative 105. And I want to reduce that mod 26. So now instead of at, subtracting multiples of 26, you would add multiples of 26. Or on your calculator, you could do negative 105 divided by 26. And you'll see negative 4.038. If you add Instead of subtracting off the whole number, add a whole number that's one bigger than this value. So for example here, add 5. So we've got a decimal between 0 and 1, and then multiply back by 26. You get 25, and that's in fact the remainder. And similarly here, we would get 4 minus 10. We'd have negative 6 times 21 or a negative 126, and when you reduce that mod 26, you get 4. So similarly, we go through the rest of the calculations, and we find that our message is that Zeus is king of the gods. 
Now it's your turn. I'd like you to pause the video and encrypt the following message using C equals 7P minus 5. And this is what you should have gotten for the encrypted message there. The next one is a message to decode, and it was encrypted using C is congruent to 7P minus 5. So now remember, the first thing you got to do is find the inverse of 7, mod 26, to come up with the formula we need. Pause the video and do that now. And you should have found the inverse of 7 is 15. So our formula is the plain text is equal to 15 times the quantity C plus 5. Now pause the video again to decrypt the message. And here you have the decrypted message, which basically is withdrawal period is over. That is not currently true in our semester, but it was when I created this spreadsheet the semester we covered it first. So I hope that helps, and you should have all the tools you need to complete project number nine on shift and affine ciphers. Have a great day.